YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, I am 24 years old. I'm a marathon runner and lifter. You can find me on IG, TikTok as Caitlin Miller underscore fit. Today is Sunday, April 16th and tomorrow, April 17th, I'll be running the 127th Boston Marathon. As a little background, I ran Boston last year for the first time ever. This will be my third marathon ever, but last year was my first Boston. It was amazing. I actually collaborated last year with Amazon for the race. I wasn't actually intending to run Boston last year. It was just an opportunity that came to me. So I kind of just jumped on the opportunity. I had two and a half months to train. It was still an awesome race, but this year I signed up. I wanted to do it. I knew I was doing the marathon. I knew what my training plan was. So this training cycle has been a lot more planned. First last year where I was just kind of like, oh my God, this is so last minute, but let's go around the Boston Marathon. This year I feel much more prepared, which is great. But at the same time, it makes me so much more nervous because I have big goals. <laughs> the big question that I have probably gotten a million and one times is what is my goal time? So I'm gonna share it. I have not shared my goal time anywhere on IG or TikTok, but I figured I'm just gonna share it on here because by the time I post this video, the race will be over, so like, whatever. <laughs> Last year at Boston, I ran it in 3.07.59. This year, my big goal is to break three hours. It's a very lofty goal. It's an eight minute PR and people are like, oh, eight minutes. You can get a lot of distance in eight minutes. It's a big goal. It's really scary. Um, and honestly, the main reason I didn't really want to share it was just because I feel like it kind of just gets in my head and it just makes me nervous thinking about it. Running a sub three hour marathon would be running basically sub 652 minute miles for 26.2 miles. Love that. To be totally truthful, <laughs> I don't know if I can go sub three hours at this marathon. <laughs> Austin's a very technical course. We have Heartbreak Hill, we have all the Newton Hills. It's, it's a very tough course. I just don't truly know if I'm able to sustain that pace for 26.2 miles. I've trained so incredibly hard. I really have. I've followed my training plan to a T. At the end of the day, everything needs to go well. My stomach has to be okay. I have to feel good. I can't stop to take shit in the middle of the race. That happened last year. Everything needs to go well. Like everything needs to line up. That's the goal. I'm just going to send it and we're going to see how it goes. That being said, I do think that no matter what happens, I'm so proud of myself for just everything I've accomplished through this training cycle. All the things I've learned, I've become so much tougher mentally and physically. I'm honestly in the best shape of my life right now, which is crazy to say. It's the Boston freaking marathon, so I want to enjoy every single second. I don't want to be so wound up on a time goal. I just really want to enjoy the experience. Now I'm going to go inside, get some breakfast. I'm heading into Boston today. I'm going to take you guys through the whole weekend. I'm going to the expo today. I'm going to get my bib number, all the good stuff. I have been carb loading to the max for this race, and I'm so overeating carbs, but... Anyways, we're gonna go make oats because carbs. I'm so excited to just bring you guys along for the ride. Oh, inside note. We're just gonna put this out there. I'm supposed to get my period tomorrow on race day. So that's great. Anyways, we're just gonna forget about that. I should also mention the running fit of the day. This is the everyday sports bra from Exponential. I also ran with my Boston Marathon shirt from last year. These are our runner's leggings, of course. All Exponential Athletics, obviously. The staple for this entire training block. It doesn't matter if you're training for a marathon or not, this is the staple. We have a beautiful bowl of vegan protein oats. I used vegan protein powder, it was the birthday cake flavor, and then this is just oats, a little bit of banana, and then I have these oatmeal squares on top with some syrup. So we're leaving at 11 a.m. today. I'll probably get to the expo around like 12.30. Still haven't finished packing. I'd say right now, I'm not nervous, but I'm gonna be nervous once I feel like we get into Boston and I start seeing everything. I think the thing I'm most nervous about is just that like I feel okay. I'm scared about my period and then I don't know. I don't want my stomach to be off. Good vibes only. The race is gonna hurt, for sure. Pain is temporary. Honestly, I'm just gonna send it. That's all you can do. And tomorrow, it's also supposed to rain. So I don't know. I don't really know how tomorrow's gonna go. I'm supposed to get my period. It's supposed to rain. I really don't know. All you can do is hope for the best. I have a really good playlist, though, that 
I'll be listening to the whole race. Hopefully that will numb the pain. So good. This is coffee over cardio. It's like 9.30 and we're leaving in an hour and a half. So I need a shower and I still need to pack. We just do everything last minute around here. Wow, I hope I don't forget anything. I can't believe it's in a day. Past 11 a.m. but we are getting ready to leave. I have all my bags here. Packing all my bags of carbs that I'm gonna be eating. Uh, let me give you guys a little tour. I have rice cakes, pretzels, peanut butter, tons of these granola bars. I'll have one of these in the morning, probably like two before the race. Graham crackers down there. Over here we have bagels. I'm gonna have one of these tonight for dinner. Cucumbers, more bread, lots of bananas, some butter. What else is in there? Oh, an apple. Car is packed. We are ready to go. About to hit the road. I really hope I'm not forgetting something. I think I have everything. I have my shoes. Mom, what am I forgetting? Um, nothing. Okay, I'm not forgetting anything. We're good. Banana for the road. Mm. I'm wearing a new um, tank top that's never uh, been seen before. I better not be forgetting anything. Yeah, I have my water bottle. Um, All right, we made it to the city. This is my sister and her boyfriend. We just got here. It's one o'clock now, so we're gonna go to the expo. My sister's here because she has a secret spot for us to park. I probably shouldn't show that one thing. <laughs> Okay, so we are in the streets of Boston. How are you feeling? I'm ready to race. <laughs> Honey, you're gonna be watching, okay? <laughs> what do you expect my finish time to be? Well, I'm hoping for 258.50. Oh my God, I love that. Would really be hard to do. My mom is in total support of um, the sub three hour challenge. Oh my God. We almost just got attacked by birds. Let's go. The fact that we're stopped here because my dad needs water. Father. Hey, Dad. How is that Poland Springs? Crystal clear. All right, there is the finish line up there. This is what we want to cross on Monday. Convention Center. This is where we get my bib. Let's do it. We have entered the Heinz Convention Center. It's time to go get that bib. All right, guys, what number do you think I am? 9,999. No. Are you number two? Yes, but no. Oh, are you number I'm number 9591. Oh, Mom is the closest. Mom should know what number I am. Okay, okay. Family goals. Yo, Dad, where are you? <laughs> the red waves are for the really fast people. I'm not quite there yet. Okay. We are the white waves. I'm number 9591. What do we think? It's a great number. Is it screaming sub three hour? Like screaming winner to me. <laughs> I'm so nervous. It's a big bib though. I think it'll fit on the new shirt, right?
I say we try to find as many free samples as we can. Okay, we got to our hotel and you will never guess what happened. I'm here with my parents. We got a two bedroom hotel, but when we walked in, there was only one bedroom. So we were like, what the heck? Turns out they ran out of two bedrooms. So they gave us two one bedrooms. So now I have an entire hotel room to myself. Let me give you guys a tour. So little couch area here. We got the TV. Over here is the little kitchen area, which is perfect. Over here is my bed. Then we have the closet here. I have my own bathroom. It's so nice. And here is the parents' room. Basically the exact same thing as mine, just not as good as mine. <laughs> the parents are getting Mexican, which I will not be participating in. Save some beans. Yeah, thank you. I'm just gonna stay back, chill. Hold down the forts, plural. Are we excited for tomorrow? I've been waiting for this for so long. I know, right? The agenda for the rest of the night. Right now it's 4.34. I am getting more nervous. This is getting very real. For dinner, I'm having a plain bagel with half of it has butter. The other half has peanut butter and honey. Don't ask me why, it just works well for me. I've been practicing this same dinner for like my last long run, so I know it works well with my stomach. The last thing I need to do is mess up my stomach before the big day. We're sticking to all the basics. So I have a huge bag here of just carbs, rice cakes, pretzels, graham crackers. I'm gonna actually make dinner now cause I wanna make sure that I, I'm like in bed early tonight. So I wanna have time to like digest my meal and everything. We actually got quite a lot of walking in today. I'm almost at 12,000 steps for the day. So we are definitely chilling for the rest of the night. Then I'm also gonna lay out my race day outfit, which I will show you guys. Okay, let's make dinner. At this point, all I can do is nothing. I just have to stay calm. My meals the past three days have been so bland and non-nutritional. I've barely eaten any vegetables. You don't want to be eating like broccoli and things like that that will make you go. It's been really boring meals so that's the one thing I'm really excited for after this race to like eat real food again and be on like a better eating schedule where I'm not just like only eating carbs. Okay and here we have our super simple dinner just a plain bagel, one with butter, one with peanut butter and honey. Time to eat. Also having a cucumber. <laughs> I don't know, they just sit well with my stomach, so it's a win. I really cut out like so many vegetables this week because you're not really supposed to have those before long endurance events because they can cause you to go to the bathroom during the race and we know what happened last year, so. I'm really just playing it safe this year. It is now 8.12 p.m. Getting some work done on my phone, trying not to think too much about the race. I've also been setting out the race day fit, so let me show you. Here we have the race day fit, baby. Okay, first off, x -Bunch Athletics Speed Shorts. I love these things. Tomorrow the weather is going to be like in the 50s, low 50s. It's also supposed to rain, so that's great. But I think in general with the weather, the shorts are going to be my best bet. They also have the side pockets here. So I'm going to have my gels in one pocket. I'll have my phone in this pocket and I'll be listening to music with my AirPods, which are right here. This is a brand new shirt from Exponential. Never been launched. Um, it will be coming soon-ish though. Here's your first sneak peek at it. Um, and yeah, bibs going right over that. It is like a crop top shirt, but it is just so perfect. It's very elastic. It's super high quality and I just love the fit of it. I'm supposed to get my period tomorrow, but I haven't gotten it yet. So this is just precautionary measures. We're just gonna bring it in case. I have my Band-Aid in little uh, cotton balls here because I'm actually going to be putting them over my right foot because my race day shoes were kind of bothering me on my last run. So I tested that out and it worked out well. So we're just going to go with it. I have my race day socks here. These are my arm sleeves, my gloves, 
And I have hand warmers for the morning because I know my hands will go numb. I have my Exponential Athletics. This is the Divergent Sports Bra. I'll be wearing this. I have my throwaway sweatpants and sweatshirt here. I have, this is the bag that we're allowed to bring onto the bus with us. Right now I just have a little water and two Nature Valley bars plus a couple of extra band-aids. Um, I'll probably put my tampons in there. That is everything that we have. I really hope I'm not forgetting anything, but it always helps me to just lay everything out. I'm so excited with like the all black fit. It's just fire. And this new shirt is so freaking cute. I've tested it out several times, so yeah. This is the race day fit. For fueling, I only plan on taking two of these gels, one at mile 10, one at mile 20, and then I'll get water at mile nine, and then probably at like mile 18. I wanna quickly mention, so I'm wearing the pod two from Koros. I'll be wearing this on my shoe. This is going to help me know exactly what my pace is at any given moment in the race. If you've ever used a watch before, you probably know how much it lags. With the Pod 2, there is like no lag time. That is so helpful, especially when you're racing. I'll have that metric right on my watch so I'll know what my pace is at any given time during the race. Such a game changer and it's like a huge relief for me um, because I'll know exactly what I'm running at um, and can kind of just gauge things better with how I'm feeling and what my pace should be and all that good stuff. That's gonna be an absolute lifesaver for tomorrow. I have the Apex 2 Pro. I absolutely love this watch. It is amazing. You really cannot go wrong with Koros. Koros knows what they're doing. It is just past nine o'clock now. I am going to get to bed. I'm just going to try to get as much sleep as I can. I'm so excited for tomorrow. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. It's race day. I slept as well as I could have slept, I think. It is currently 6.16 a.m. I'm leaving here like just before 8 a.m. to catch the bus in Hawkington. I'm not staying in the city, so I don't have to leave here super early, which is nice. I'm gonna wash my face, get ready. I'm probably gonna eat around like 7-ish. I wanna try to eat a little bit later so that you know, I'm not like super hungry by the time the race starts. Oh, wow. I can't believe it's today. <laughs> head to toe so freaking excited um still have to like get everything else pack up i'm leaving the hotel in like 20 minutes so we gotta go all right athletes village. we have arrived at athletes village this is jocelyn i went on her podcast <laughs> all right we're heading in
Best marathon in the world. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Be proud of yourself. Yeah, I literally sent it after the hill. Some girl that follows me came up to me during the race. She was like, oh my god, like I messaged you. I was like, no way. And then she's like, if she pulls out her phone, she's like, let's get a photo while we're running. She pulls out her phone and we're like, it was so funny. I saw Matt Choi, an IG imp, uh, like creator, literally at like mile 24. I was like, Matt Choi? I was like, hey. Those hills, that one was rough. No, that wasn't even heartbreak. Honestly, I don't think heartbreak is the worst hill. That's like the last hill. Three hours, it got up to like three hours, 29 seconds, and it started to go back down. Three hours, and it got it all the way down to three hours, three, three seconds when you, were ahead, when you were on boil. Dude, if I did not sprint at the end on boil, honestly, I was like to myself, I was like, I was kind of confused because my watch was ahead of the time. So I had already done the 26.2 on my watch. It's like, I literally can't risk it. I was like numb, oh. like literally numb, no like 30 seconds, I literally sprinted from like my stomach down numb. 
Part of it too is when you're like maneuvering through people, the course itself is 26.2, but that's if you're going the most direct route. So like when you're kind of maneuvering through people, my first mile was a 7.12, so crowded. And I was like, what the heck? And then I ripped a 6.37 on the second mile and I was like, Ooh. Okay, let's slow down. I can't believe I just did that. I'm literally retiring from marathons. I won't be able to walk for like the next 10 days. Guys, check it out. We went to this place last year and it was so good. Okay, what is going on? This is bullshit. We just got home. I can't walk. Do you have my bag? This is the good stuff. Should I take three? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. I've never done that before. Okay. <laughs> you could even take four. Huh? Oh, okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm dead. Dude, they gave us Fig Newtons. Let's go. I haven't had one of these in like six years. Oh my God. I'm not like profusely shivering anymore. <laughs> Remember how last year we did that dance after the marathon? Yeah. How did I do that? I don't even like Gatorade. When I finished, there was a man like right at the finish line and I kind of like finished and was like, Ugh, and I fell and he like literally caught me and then he walked me over like to get water. I think he thought I was gonna like pass out or something. Okay, this is chocolate. This is a Morton Solid C25. It's really good. This contains milk. <laughs> Lactose intolerant, but I really don't care. We are in that coffee. I have my water, coffee, and the cheeses that they gave the runners. This day was absolutely unreal. I really didn't know if I had a sub three hour marathon in me, um, <laughs> but we did it. The four seconds to spare. My quads, holy mother. Wow. I just, wow. Also, I did get my period this morning, right when my dad dropped me off at the Hopkinton bus drop off. I went to the bathroom and period. I actually think it worked out better than like if I were to run it yesterday. Cause like yesterday I felt like my stomach was just off. I can't believe that that just happened. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy with how this race went. I trained so hard for this. Like, honestly, I put in so much work and I set my mind on wanting to do a sub three hour marathon. My playlist was called sub three hour Boston. My marathon training plan was called sub three hour Boston. I had this in my head. This was what I wanted to do. I did it. I just like, I can't believe that I actually did it because I truly didn't know if I could. And I turned left onto Boylston. I mean, that's like a pretty long stretch and i think i had less than two minutes i just remember thinking to myself like if i don't push so hard i'm gonna regret this like i have to push as hard as i possibly can right now otherwise i'm not gonna break it like i'm not gonna break three hours i just have to give a huge shout out to koros because i just feel like they were such a staple with this training cycle they made it so much easier for me to progress the way that i was supposed to progress not only did the pod 2 come in handy today but it came in handy this entire training cycle of course my apex 2 pro it's just my baby i was able to track my training load to track my base fitness to ensure that i was hitting marks that i was supposed to hit to get to the level that I needed to be at to run a sub three hour marathon. Lastly, I want to thank every single person who messaged me, who reached out to me. It was so overwhelming and I just feel so thankful to have this community of people who are just so supportive. Their support keeps me going and it just really means the world. Um, some of the messages that I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now it is time to sleep.